your Premiere Pro tutorial on proxies is like, I think, is it 15 minutes? I think it's over 20, actually. Is oh it gosh. really? Yeah, yeah. It's one of your best performing videos. And when I watch something like that, I'm thinking to myself, how long are people going to stay for this information? Because you have some pretty vital information far into that video. And as a tutorial YouTuber myself, when I'm creating content, I'm always thinking, how long can I make this content? Because you have to tote that line between creating content for a person that's just a novice at Premiere Pro uh, and mm. intermediate. Maybe they know all the bells and whistles and they just need to know a specific part. Uh, how, how do you go about that? <laughs> oh, man. Okay. It's funny because the pro like the proxy tutorial video is one of my most popular videos. And it's this monstrosity that I had to create because... And for the people that don't know, can mm -hmm. you explain what proxies are? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so cameras these days record very high resolution video, 4K, 6K, 8K video in very high quality. And most computers these days cannot handle editing that video. So you can create a proxy video that is basically the same video, but significantly smaller file size, smaller resolution, so your computer can edit it very quickly and easily. And then whenever it comes time to edit and export your video, you can then export the full quality video, but you're only editing the smaller videos, so it's way quicker. Ah, this proxy video though, I had the idea for it like a year before, but I realized that it was such a complex beast of a video that I actually needed to make three videos before I made that video because I said, okay, I wanna tell people how to make proxies, but to make proxies, I also need to tell them how I interpret my frame rates. So that needs to be its own separate video, which is a very popular video in its own right. And I said, okay, but then for me to tell people how I interpret video, I also need to tell them how I work with video that's at mixed resolutions. So that's another separate video. I, so maybe it was only two previous pre-hour videos to the proxy video, but I literally had to make a mixed resolutions video, then a frame rates video, then finally the proxies video so people would fully grasp it. So it's not just a 20 minute video, it's like an hour of videos. And I have people comment there like, I just went down the rabbit hole, thank you, this was very helpful but my goodness, and I'm like, I'm sorry, this is as quick as I could tell you how to do it because it's a complicated thing. And I feel like there's people in Final Cut that are like, just don't just import the footage and it just happens automatically. No, this is Premiere. Nothing's as simple as that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I think the big takeaway there, for me at least, is that the topic was so big and in depth that you needed to break it up into those three videos and even if those videos flopped, the information is out there. And if people wanted to know about this, you have videos that explain it in the way that you would want. Yeah. The other big thing that I did, I think that really helped people is at the start of the proxies video, because it's a 20 minute long tutorial, very start of it. I'm saying, hey, if you want to save time, Here's a proxy preset that you can download that will literally, you can just import into Premiere. Here's some instructions on how to use it. So you don't have to watch this 20 minute video. You could literally just use this preset and it'll do it for you. And so a lot of people have really been thankful for that. Was that a lead magnet to an email list? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm sure <laughs> that has skyrocketed the numbers on your list. It's been good. It's been real good. Because <laughs> you give people something really complicated. It's the choice of a 20 minute video about like detailed technical stuff versus here, do you want to just watch, just download this thing? And so it's one of the most, one of the more valuable lead magnets that I have, that I've put out. I wanted to ask, since both of us are tutorial creating YouTubers, what are your thoughts on creating the same content as another YouTuber? Mm. Because when it came to that proxy video, when I was talking to you, in my mind, I'm thinking, well, I want to create a video about how to do proxies in Premiere Pro, but here's this video and it explains everything beautifully. Like I said to you, I even said to you, I want to cr create my proxy video, but then I just want to send people to your video. <laughs> uh, like, how do you go about that? 
now that you have created content for so long on the platform? Mm-hmm. I, I struggle with that still to this day. I, I, it's something that I've had to get over and still remind myself to get over because I've had video tutorials and reviews that I've considered making. And then I was like, oh, I shouldn't make this. This is dumb. Nobody's going to want to watch this. And then those videos end up being some of my most popular videos ever. Like I wasn't the first guy to make a proxy tutorial video. There was 10 others, 20 other, 50 others out there. Some videos, it's like, there's a thousand other videos, but I'm like, I'm going to throw this out there too, because what I had to remind myself and remember is that I have an audience that wants to hear my voice and my take on things, just like your audience wants to hear your take on things. So it doesn't matter that someone's already made a tutorial. Like people want to hear from you. Also the internet, um, everybody has a very short attention span. And if your stuff is over a year old, people are all going to be like, what about the new version of Premiere? Like the amount of comments I get that are people like, is this still apply in Premiere 2020? I'm like, they haven't changed anything. It's the same. But eventually I'm going to have to make a new tutorial for that just to make those people happy because it's a new year. Put 2020 in the title. Exactly. Just use all of the same footage, but just put the year 2020 in the title. It, it would work. People would be like, wow, thank you. This is so much more up to date. Like, is it? I don't know about that. Okay, whatever. Crazy. Crazy.